hi there just a quick run through the wallace xc duo combination cooker and cabin heater so here we have our control panel we can press the start button the main power button and you hear the fan come on the unit start up and then the main power light come on from this point it takes two or three minutes for the unit to actually start and the flame indicator light to come on so we'll pause and come back to that okay so it's been a couple of minutes and the flame indicator lights top left there have come on which indicates it's successful startup so for cooking we lift the lid there are two sides to the hob, one side is hotter which is the left and uh, not as hot, slightly less hot on the right hand side here. So for boiling and your main cooking use left and then you can move across to a simmer um, on the right hand side and continue cooking on the left. There's a variable temperature control for the hob. And that can be set anywhere for boiling and fast boiling we recommend up to six the unit isn't as quick as gas it does take uh, up to five minutes before it gets up to full full heat so a little bit of patience for moving to a night heater mode we simply lift room sorry lower the lid and on the control panel we turn the dial until the indicator light for the thermostat lights usually a couple of turns so now we're on thermostat for night heater usually set on one you can run through the night on one um, it, it does warm up um, probably a bit too much on any of the other temperature settings unless it's very very cold then to shut the unit down or to go back to cooking we'll do that first so we can Turn the dial again, back, so now we're back to a cooking mode. To turn the unit off, we simply hold and press, and you'll note that the Wallace light goes off and also the power light. The flames will continue on for some time and then start flashing, and the unit will continue running until it's gone all the way through its cool down process and then shut down. 